Welcome to the Humminbird family, where we enjoy the most powerful, user-friendly marine electronics available, so we can catch more fish and have more fun on every trip. Getting your new Humminbird rigged and ready for action requires that we pay attention to three key steps, including providing power to the unit, rigging the transducer, and mounting the display. Here are some tips that will help you to navigate the rigging process so you can get out on the water. Let's begin by running power. It is strongly recommended that you run your power cable directly to the battery. Resist the temptation to draw power from your console panel, as running other electrical accessories in your boat can be a source of interference. Protect your Humminbird by installing the correct size fuse. Consult your owner's manual for the specific fuse requirements for your unit. Next, let's rig the transducer. Using a piece of transducer mounting board makes rigging the transducer easy and also allows for adjustment and tweaking without putting more holes in the transom. For those holes that you do make in the transom, apply a liberal amount of marine sealant to keep water out and your boat's interior dry. Refer to your owner's manual for more information on transducer placement and positioning. Finally, let's mount the display. Some users simply screw the gimbal bracket into their deck or console but this doesn't provide the greatest flexibility in viewing the display. Most users opt for an electronics mount. Many brands and styles are available. Be sure to select one that can bear the load of your display, especially for a larger unit that may be used in heavy seas. These three steps represent the key parts of your Humminbird rigging process. Whether you do the rigging yourself or opt for a professional installation, your new Humminbird will help you to find and catch more fish on every trip.